hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to create an android plugin to scan barcode as well as qr code in gado game engine and for this we will be making use of this ml kit library and uh, it uh, does all the things for you like auto zooming uh, like flashlights all those kind of stuff for you so we don't have to worry about it also the other advantage is we don't require any kind of permission that is handled internally uh, and it does not even request permissions for the, uh, from the user so that's the good part so let's see how to uh, get started with this so first i'll show you the output so here you can see that i have uh, created just one button called click me and once i click on the button it automatically opens the uh, scanner for us and here you can see i am able to sc scan the barcode and display whatever has been scanned on the screen similarly i can again i will just click on the click me button again to scan a qr code and here you can see the output for that as well so let's see how to do this so first you will have to create an android project it can be an empty views project or a jetpack compose project doesn't really matter using android studio then you will have to go to this android drop down over here just right click new module android library here you can give any name what you want and select the give the package name according to your choice i have given it as my library this name uh, but yeah you can give any name whatever makes sense to and then just click on finish uh, I have already created it so won't create it again then uh, you will have to go to this build.gradle.kts and now this is new thing in android from android studio iguana uh, like you will uh, so this is our gado dependency okay uh, I will show you where exactly this is uh, where exactly it is so first you will have to write this then this is our code scanner dependency from ml kit and we also require this bit of dependency because we need to check whether this module has been already installed or not like it installs at a runtime or dynamically when the user wants it or when the developer wants it to install it so it reduces the apk size as well uh, so that's why we need to install this module so write these three things first and to check where exactly it is you will have to go to libs.versions.toml and you will have to write this bit of code also this bit of code so at the time of recording i am using godot 4.2.1 but if you are using some higher version you should be using that and you can see uh, what the latest version is from maven central so use this for godot and this is for code scanner this is for play service base for installing the module and here you will also have to write this bit of code over here okay uh, for uh, code scanner as well as play services and this is for our gado uh, project gado android plugin then just you have to click on sync now at the top once that is done you will have to uh, expand your uh, plugin my library in case in my case and here you will have to go to kotlin plus java create a file called gado android plugin and uh, here you can see that i'll just make this as private and here i am extending from gado plugin now first you will have to give your plugin name it can be anything but do remember this name because we will be using this in lot other places as well and here i have created our gms barcode scanner option i am uh, trying to scan for all barcodes but if you have any specific case in mind uh, you can uh, it provides you specific barcodes as well but i have kept it all barcodes this include qr codes as well i have enabled the auto zoom as well and i am clicking on and i have building it and then i have created one variable for module installed client and one for our scanner and as soon as godo setup is completed i am initializing our scanner as well as module installed client then uh, here over here i am just doing module install i'm uh, install request i'm building that particular request over here and then i'm just calling install modules and i'm passing our module install request now this has a success listener as well as failure listener as well so what i'm doing as soon as the singleton of this particular library is created on the godo side i'm immediately installing the module okay uh, if you want it has a success listener and a failure listener as well but in my case i'm ignoring it then here i have created one signal so once a barcode or qr code scan has qr code has been scanned uh, this will help us to send data back from android side to the gado side and this method should be called from your gado code so scan code so here i am checking first whether the module has been installed correctly or not if yes 
then i am calling the start scan if not then i am just calling install module and the install module code is the same code which we have written over here but here in install module i am also adding success listener and failure listener as well so in case if it is still in progress i am just to showing installing module and on failure listener i am just calling a uh, failed and i just i am deferring the install as well but if the module is already installed i am just calling start scan and if you see the start scan it automatically opens the camera and start scanning for QR code and barcode and once any barcode or QR code has been scanned I am just sending that back value back to Godot side in case of error I am just uh, displaying a toast message okay next you will have to go to android manifest.xml firstly you I have just uh, added this internet permission because we need to dynamically uh, download this module and I have copied this bit of code uh, ignore this one but this bit of entire code from the Godot documentation itself but here the things which you have to change is this should be your plugin name and this should be your package name so if you are if you forgot this is your package name and this is your plugin name so use the say right things over here next you have so have to add this metadata for this ml kit barcode dependency uh, like this is mandatory uh, once uh, this is done you will have to go to the project drop down go to your my library create a folder called export scripts template first create a file called plugin.cfg again i have copy pasted this from the docs only this name changes uh, everything else remains the same you can change the description author to whatever you feel like then create a file called export underscore plugin.gd again i have copy pasted this from docs only thing which you will have to remember is this should be your plugin name over here and here i have we need to add these two dependencies as well because these are external dependencies which 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 we need to make uh, android go to android plugin aware about that's why this is an extra method which you need to add okay and make sure you change your plugin name over here next uh, let me just check the documentation in case i forgot anything so i've told you this i've told you this i've told you this okay next uh, you will have to open your terminal okay and uh, cd to your android project not to your android library just cd to your android project and then you will have to run this command uh, dot slash gradle w assemble once you run this command you can go to your go to android project go to app not sorry not app my library build outputs ar and here you should see two ar files been generated i have already cut pasted those files to my godot project that's why you are not seeing it over here next you will just have to create your godot project just do project install android build template i have already done that then click on export uh, add android i have already done this as well then at the bottom you might be seeing a fix import button just click on it here make sure you check this use gradle build and depending on what android uh, architecture your phone is using make sure you check this checkbox if you don't know select all four of those then click on close then uh, here you will have to create a folder called add-ons inside that create a folder with your plugin name inside that create a folder called build and inside bin create two folders debug and release now uh, inside your plugin folder you will have to copy these two files so if you remember we created this export plugin.gd and plugin.cfg inside our android plugin you will have to copy these two files over here and next inside you will have to copy this ar file inside the debug ar file inside the debug folder release ar file to the release folder but there is one catch in the naming so i'll just show you that add-ons my plugins bin debug here you see see that i have copied the debug file to the debug folder but the file name has been changed the file name is my plugin name whatever is your plugin name dash debug.ar similarly for release whatever is your plugin name dash release.ar once that is done here uh, you will have to go to project project settings go to plugins make sure you check this checkbox next here i have created a vbox container one button as well as one label and i have attached one script to this and this is should be your plugin name i have created one variable for our label and here i on inside on ready i am initializing our plugin as well as connecting our signal and on button press i'm just calling the scan code scan code method from our android plugin and once we get some kind of a code a bar like once barcode or a qr code i'm just displaying in, inside our label so i think uh, that should be it
uh, if you haven't uh, set your uh, debug key path you can go to editor editor settings in gado and uh, set the debug key path uh, so yeah yeah i think uh, that's it uh, thank you for watching bye